So we join back in for part two of, of our adventures as the group ha are still racing in the Doom Hakra. They have entered the second portion of the race with almost half of the entrance already out. Um, and our group not doing too bad. Up in the front at the moment are the Wayfinders, uh, followed quickly by Sandstorm and Desert Hopper with our group pulling up in fourth. The Zor Flyer in fifth, Two Will Dawn in sixth, and uh the trident uh in in seventh uh as it stands at the moment as we come to the top of the round Lil Kimmy's got nothing to do um <laughs> so I will pull the two of dawn completely off ballista guy might take some shots while he's still in range okay. um but top of the round Dante I am going to go to um, and Eddie, you got the got the gravel work ready. Yep. I'm going to move forward twenty feet or fifteen feet. How long? Hang on, let me zoom in. So you pull um, forwards. Fifteen feet. Move fifteen feet forward. Um, and now I'm. Clicking the jump. Bonus action, activate the jump. Yep. Uh, okay, so with a explosion of steam and a hiss, your vehicle is propelled into the air, filling the area that you left with smoke, with that cloud of smoke. Um, yeah, I forgot that we did that. Mm, yeah. And launching yourself uh, with this way, it was 10, 10 foot more into the air because you're obviously already hovering foot five, so you're 15 off the ground right now. Right. And then when I think we're getting to the right place, I'm going to fire the ballista. So how much more, more further can you, do you want to move? Because remember that you stay in the air for one 30 foot forward. So 15 foot from here would oh. be the peak. So I'm, I'm thinking I would be waiting till we're well, almost no, for, like... 45. So half of that, let's call it 20. Uh, let's call it 20 to be even. But 20 foot forward is the peak before you'll yeah. start to. I'm thinking as we start to, as I start to feel the car begin to drop again, that's when I'm going to shoot. So I'm going to be moving forward as far so as it's another can. 20. Okay. So um, let's pull you forward. So you saw 20 feet over the top of the sandstorm and as you begin to to descend obviously it was descending further anyway because the road itself is pulling yeah. away from you um hey lenny and uh, that was a, your... an, it was a 19. okay the ballista fires off um at this distance so so i can i can do 120 it, it's, feet, well in, I? it's well in i think it would be about 100 uh maybe 90 ish to the roof at the minute as okay. it sails up and digs in uh roll your damage to see if it grabs purchase oh, and also a note on this um i checked the obviously i've seen the recordings of it um and I don't think you're at, <laughs> at risk now because there's already it's <laughs> not about being under a four it's about if any of the damage dice roll one, if all of the damage dice roll ones and twos. So, hang so on. even so your it, fire damage. So the ballista I've got written down here was a 2d8 plus a d6. It is, so you need to roll an additional one. But you're fine for that anyway because the first d8 wasn't a, a one or a two. But essentially upping the damage dice, how many and a, dice and you roll. And an eight for the second d8. Ooh, okay, that digs <laughs> securely into the roof. Um locks in place and as you feel the tension i'm gonna ask for a strength save uh advantage because you all knew it was coming from but there all is of us or... from all of you because the vehicle the ballista is sort of attached on that left hand side so it like it will oh. you sweet you're swinging from that point if that makes sense remember that, your plus threes and your d4 that 20 for 26 oh <clears> beautiful <throat> 22 do you want me to do any driving checks or anything for this? Well? I'll count that as yours. Okay. You managed to so because you it is going to be more of a a writing when you land when you disconnect and land. But I'm almost thinking you'd swing through like this anyway, and then you'll be pointing. You know, you'll you'll end up pointing because the rope's still connecting to a Lenny, so it'll write the car by yeah. the time that you're through the full swing. Uh, Twenty six. Um, 
Uh, bu- 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 I think that's 23. Yeah. Okay. Everyone holding on fast and tight. So, um, how, so, so we're 90. So, so I was one, this is what I was wondering. There is a way to work this out. Do we no, need to be retracting the rope to pull us while we're well, swinging? You, you can't currently retract it or I know. To, uh, as a reaction. Right now, no, because essentially, as it goes tight at 90 feet, yeah, the floor is not... Oh, the floor's is, dropping. Yeah, yeah. No, so, the floor, the, swinging. so the floor is lower than you anyway, because you were 20 foot up. Of the normal floor, the floor is yep. sloping away, there's, and there's then you've got an... around kind of thing. So we effectively yes. need Ichi to let us go at the right moment. At when the we right get moment. The... So what I'm going to say, and just you know, just to add more kind of fun to this, that was only would have been my movement and bonus holding the action to carry on driving forward. Well, so here's where I'm going to ask for the drive check. So, firstly, I do need to do a bit of maths. You love a bit of math. I was going to say, that's it's, easy for you. It's the easiest way to... Uh, basically, what I'm thinking is, essentially, you're moving on the edge of a circle that has a 90-foot radius. Yes, we are. Well done. Um, <laughs> so we can circumference... There we go. At two, 2 pi r, or pi d. I like pi d, but I don't know. <laughs> two, 2 pi r slips off the tongue better, Liam. No... It, yeah, like, but Liam more people, get, I, I, I more just people get confused with pi r squared if you then have two pi r because it's basically pi r squared in reverse. Um, Ish, but anyway, yeah. um, so nerds, that's the whole thing. <laughs> and then, so what, how late do you want to? Because if you went like a full 90. It's almost like a 90 well, degree. Well, we to don't get want to get all to... the way to the end and then drop straight, do we? We want to be still moving almost forward. Go. So you almost want to let go at the... As we're starting the, to go up a, again. As a lower, at the lower end of the thing, okay? Yeah, I think as we're swinging, so... as we're starting so to come up. So, 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 so I'd say go there. The, I'd be as close as we can to the highest point of the opposite side. Yeah, but Chris, Chris think about is... it. If you're swinging like that, you, you don't want to wait till here to let go. You want to yeah. let go about here so that we carry yeah. on. Yeah, 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 that's what. Yeah, so that's what I meant. So, so if you're saying it's ninety, are you saying about like fifty, sixty is when we need to release? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly exactly mm. what I did. Um, yeah. So yeah, this might take more than a turn anyway because you've gone forward. Um, twenty. No, I'm going to say a swing wooden. A swing is a swing. A swing's in motion. So you're going to go. You went forward twenty. You went up. I'm going to say it's going to take your movement, so you can't move further than this once you land. It is going to eat the movement. That's uh, me my action. Just, uh, it's more, yeah, yeah, but it, it, yeah, it'll eat the action to control it. And can you give me a drive check? You are going to go 90 forwards from here. Nice. Be- because off some maths, that is the proportion of the edge of the, the circumference that you would go before you need to release. Uh, so work, um, work, work's still going to be like 50 feet in the air compared to... Yes, and this is where the drive check is going to come in because when you release... I'm holding that 90, Liam, if you want. So. When you release, you are going to... It has been going down 15, 30. You're going to be about 60 foot in the air when you release. But we should still be moving forward at that point. But you're going to have... that. This is where the drive check is going to come in yeah. to land, land that 60 foot. You're almost, and you would know as you've talked with Master um, Thaddeus, mm. you almost need to land Zikar first. You, you know what I mean? Like if you land on an edge that is not Zikar protected, it'll dip and smack the floor, but you almost tilt back and let the Zikar first contact. Um, but first of all, so at the end of the 90, Ichi is technically still still riding Dante's turn, but also in that midpoint of, uh, of using Ichi's as well. As Dante, I assume, shout, do, who it is, Calvin, Dante, are you controlling it? Are you going to shout release as you're swinging through? I, I would oh. possibly shout oh. it, or Dante can. I'm just thinking I'm there yeah. next to the ballista. Yeah, yeah, whoever. Someone does. Yeah. And Ichi, can you reach over and give me an athletics? Come yes, on, Ichi. I can. 
because this is the other thing. If you continue past this, some of uh, mum's right. Some of the movement's going to be upwards again yeah. as you start to sort of follow the edge of the yeah. circle back towards the ceiling almost. Great roll. Well, roll the 17 plus six for a 23. Okay, yeah. you d- d- disconnect. And I am going to say that your turn is going to sort of mid end with you floating mm-hmm. in the air right now. <laughs> As, how, how much as further forward are we, though? As you're coming down, you would release another 30 foot forwards. Um, does each of your uh, have the ability to kind of claim the thing back, uh, reel it back in? Because that would have been his bonus. Uh, no, um, so because it's only a reaction for the user. Uh, um, so it does just, and it will just. But I, the, but I can do that on my turn. When we get back to your turn. Uh, but for now, you have a trailing. Yeah, a uh, piece of uh, and to be fair, was well, that almost... my action or bonus action to do that? That would be your uh, action, uh, no bonus action. Sorry, to reach across and do that. As... Can I use my sorry, action to reel in then? Like, if, if I'm spending, to, yeah, my, if, yeah. if I'm just yeah, like full like yank release, and then I will lean across and yeah, yeah okay. Roll yeah, that. You, could, you can use your action as well to pull that fully in as it reconnects uh, and is ready for the next shot. Uh, drive check from Dante, please. Uh, I did do one. it. It was um, 16. Okay, so um, the vehicle, I'm going to say, so you land down heavy. The vehicle takes another six points of damage. As the backside, you almost land and it like jostles everything. Uh, uh, you guys are thrown about, uh, but being attached, no major issue. Um, major just, issue just a just a bit of uh damage and you almost lose a bit of that forward momentum you feel like maybe you could have you know you could have skated a bit for forward no major effect but um that's nice you got a good good bit of distance there it anything else from dante with the bonus um no bonus was jump wasn't it bonus jump movement yeah, forward jump, yeah, action and... to control you the uh yeah so that is dante done okay any uh any movement at all from ichi or you just know that that's full time reloaded okay so from outside of the cave poor trident back on seventh (laughs) he's lost two of his best friends he's He's trying he's trying hard he sees one person dead squished up against the wall yeah, he's having a bad time. Um, so but he's still he's come... up, right? There's people who are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing better than some. Um, Seen worse this, on a night out. The, these are the guys uh, <laughs> that are backed by a, the fishing and packing plant from uh, Bright uh, from Shineport. Um, so they are going to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. They. <laughs> burst in just straight full speed not slowing down at all as they're uh, in the mid jump they look forwards and uh they're a bit far for you to see but if you were able to see you'd see almost that it that predetermined uh, of them knowing where to aim already as they pull their gun fire up at the ceiling and strike against something around here that you see sets off a chain reaction of explosion explosions from the ceiling above, causing a rain of stalag, uh, stalactites to drop down um, and sort of scatter that area as all of those guys need to... Oh, that, 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 that's just gone for you. You're... Did that look like a trap, like what we did? So that is that you saw the bombs we, we saw that were. It. So they've like, placed things. When you drove through on your tour, a few people spotted that there were like ah, little packages uh, stuck to the ceiling. And if you remember, they were using fire bullets. Um, yep. As they, um, uh, sorry, so drive check from one, two, on three okay so uh wayfinder not having a good time as you see a large stalactite lands into the back of their vehicle um okay so at their vehicle still moving however you can see that their uh, assistant person in the back is currently like pinned by a stalactite to the back of the vehicle it's like 
what the fuck? They're taking 23 points of damage as that uh, stalactite hit them there. Um, the two vehicles in the back, however, uh, dodging for half, however. Even half damage on one of them, about far. They are, they are, well, they are sputtering. And can uh, Dante roll me a D100? Uh, one to ten. Uh, one to ten is good for you, but bad for them. If that makes sense. <laughs> oh. oh, so it dis- it doesn't blow up or something like that. Wow. Uh, eighty. Okay, so they are literally like <laughs> their speed has cut. Their engine is not functioning at the same level as they took. Not a direct stalactite, but almost like a crumbling piece of the rock that like has crumpled. You can see that that uh, armor plating that was covering their engine at the front has completely torn away, and their exposed engine is like sputtering <laughs> smoke and um, the sandstorm? luckily the sandstorm, yeah. they look like they are last legs. Oh. Um, you can see the engine completely covered in ice and almost glistening down in this in the cave. As you see, again, the pistons still moving, although they're all coated, and uh, it is still quite a, a, a cool sight to see. Um, but they are struggling and, and, and definitely on the last legs. Um, the Desert Hopper doing a little bit better, but also not in a great state of affairs. As you see, um, oh, uh, the Barter manages to hold on, but the... D- does he remember who they Well, no, he, he held on. This is, I was going to say that if he'd fallen, the rope wouldn't have mm. saved him. But he physically holds on. The crossbow guy slips and, like, is currently, like, hanging by the rope. Um, you can see as, they're, like, as, as they were, like, tilted uh, sharply by a, a bit of falling rock. Uh, they then continue their movement. Let me do a drive check for the landing. Okay. As they... And here in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, start to bring up uh, the rear and move out of seventh. Um, as we, so sorry, slate crawlers are also gone, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so. Six of us left, five of us. No, six. Uh, six. Six. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. six. Yeah. Um, but what the one at the back stalled on it? Yeah, yeah, they are actually out. Right. Um. Okay, so you would see the desert hopper barter runs forward now with their uh, like glowing blue bottle mixture that they've created, and they throw it out towards um the azure flyer. Um, and you see the, the bottle, it doesn't hit directly where they wanted. You see as the, the throw goes, they jostle a little bit and it slips. And you can tell that they were aiming for like right under the Azure Flyer, but it crashes off just to the to the left. But as it hits and breaks, the, uh, all of a sudden, uh, a 10 foot ice spike just <laughs> grows up out oh. of the ground. You see that it flips against the Azure Flyer, who manages to just uh, about right themselves, but is shoved five foot back. Um, wow. And there's now an uh, a pillar of, you can almost see, you know, like when you see the, uh, the mist that's around dry ice, it's almost got that uh, Ping texture where it is, to William. it as it is like that. Ah, uh, okay. And not a uniform either. It's like, like almost like immediately crystallized through the air. Um, as their driver is going to pull forwards, they are kind of stuck in that uh, the, in the des- in the wayfinder sa- uh, dust storm though. So they oh nat twenty on the check. So they manage to pull forwards. They are gonna ram into the side of the wayfinder again. Mm, actually, they're going to pull through this side. You can see again the ram that they're trying to do is not damaging. They almost touch up, and then they're trying to shove clear to like clear 
near the pathway for uh, for the the sandstorm. Oh, the wayfinders giving way as you see they both careen over to the side and they're trying to like push uh, the wayfinders up onto the uh, stalag uh, mites as they're just snapping and pa uh, and passing by. Um, and then they will. No, they're going to hold there, actually, still trying to push them past. As the crossbow dude. Oh, he sees an opportunity. Yeah, he's going to shoot at the the one that was hit heavy with the stalagmite. Uh, stalactite, sorry. Um, that is the right way around again, right? Tight to the Tight ceiling. Tight to the ceiling, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sweet. I've got that now. Okay, so you see him lean over and puts a bolt in, into the uh, guy that was... Uh, hit by the stalactite and they uh, take a uh, shot in the shoulder and just again like Fuck, pull away from them pull away from them um, as we get to sandstorm not able to full burst forward but still determined to stay in the fight so that's not a full burst <laughs> no, no, so they're now they're, yeah they had 70 before they are at 50 um, now Still, still one fifteen. But can a Lenny uh, roll me a d hundred, please? Again, uh, the ten percent is good for you, bad for them. No, fifty nine. Okay, as they pass you, you can hear the as much as the engines have been. You know, like again with the car engine, when it sounds healthy and when it when it doesn't, yeah. um, it's like making weird clicking and clanking noises as as it barrels past you, still trying to keep that speed. Um, after them as your flyer so they are gonna have to how big is an engine uh similar size some similar like car engine size uh so they will five down mm, they're not gonna be able to okay Okay, so you see that they attempt to do a sort of maneuver where they try and slide up the ice, end up spinning off and slide uh, and using their first movement to only just go uh, like 10 foot forwards, but to over to the side as they almost clip their left side and spin off a little bit to the side uh, before continuing. Uh, they take a little bit of damage from those stalagmites on the side before they 10, 20, 30, 40. Pull over to this side, just about getting level uh, with the Wayfinder. Um, as we then come to a Lenny. Okay. So, sorry, I'm just checking where we are on the map. Mm. So the so guy. You can see a Lenny. The, 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 the driver looks fairly stressed, but like healthy enough they haven't acted the, the driver's pretty pretty and, good and they're covered aren't they in the they're shielded they're not fully fully covered. oh no it is a full cover isn't it i on thought that, it was on, a full cover one. on the, is, the sandstorm um and then behind me yes you can see the clash of uh people that are currently fighting for for, for the next position is that barter at the front can i see barter from where i am i mean he's up there so hill, isn't he? Barter is at the back of the desert right. hopper, but you can see them because, uh, as you say, they've just thrown that bottle out and they're sort of like out in view. Okay, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to shoot at Barter with my fire arrow. No, actually, okay. no, 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 because I want to knock him. Has he been injured, Barter? Yes, you have yeah. seen him be injured. And I can't. You took a hold guiding bolt. A... You've got adva you've got advantage. Um, you can use a normal arrow if you wish. Yeah, I was just thinking because I don't. We're trying not to kill him. We just want to. We want to knock him off. Mm. Don't we? <laughs> we're trying right. not to Volley's kill him. Yeah, you, kill him. Doing you, what you, doing. you have advantage on the on the hit because he's still glowing from the guiding bolt. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna shoot at him. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot at him with a normal arrow. Um, but I still get do I get extra on this or not? I get a d4 on it. 
because I've got the D4 from whatever. Um, no, D4. Oh, yeah. Sunblast is on attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't well. need it. I don't oh, think yeah. I've rolled a 20. No, you do not need it. As Eleni takes a releasing the shot, the arrow soars through the air, roll your damage as it does almost thunks into the back of uh, Barter's shoulder. So that's eight damage, and I do want to send my swarm after him because he thinks he's tied on, but he's not. And you've also got the extra d6. Uh, oh, from my fire, yeah, that's from the from fire, there. from that fire. So that's an extra three fire damage. Okay, so he definitely cries out in pain and falls to one knee, breathing heavy as the your moth creatures hit him. Almost, I imagine a little bit. Whenever I've imagined this, they just sort of stop him dead as the vehicle, like yeah, yeah, they just sort like... of swarm around him and almost hold him in place. Mm. As the vehicle carries as, on, as and he will be prone as well. Fifteen foot backwards. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Down the hill as well. But that, that's like full damage or something as well on top of that. That's real. Um, and oh, nat twenty on the the deck save to hit the ground. Nice. Now he still hits the ground in a ball, right? It just that he. Yeah. Almost fully Ooh. curls up into a into a ball, and you see like doo -doo 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 yeah, as they're bowling for a good chunk of time, and will still only one point of damage as they hit a few bumps, but they get pretty lucky. I'm gonna That's say they fine. actually sort of stop. Obviously, those vehicles will have moved yeah. on by the time he stops, but he rolls a good twenty foot down the hill. Okay, uh, before before coming to a halt. And then my my second arrow. The, the guys in the, so the crazy guys in, is it the Wayfinder, the orange one? What's the orange one next to them? Yeah, Wayfinder, the top yeah, dudes. Yeah, Wayfinder's orange. They have the, yeah, they have the, the bard and the, yeah who, the bard is the one who's currently fairly injured. So um, is the driver visible for that as well? He is visible. You can see the the same sort of shielding that most of these vehicles have, like so that you know that they're they've got cover essentially. Okay. Because um... Tabitha's all stony skinned up, isn't she? Yeah. I'm gonna go for the bard on the wayfinder then. Okay, make a shot. Roll oh, you up next. Shit. Oh. D hundred for me, please. Nat one, and even with the extra whatever, that's not gonna. Hang on, what am I doing? Slash R D hundred. Ooh, twenty eight. Twenty eight is. I've got something in my eye, and I am blind until the start of my next turn. Okay, so as you release, there's almost like a, a bit of the, the wood splinters and it chips off and you, you hit with in the eye and uh, you currently have to uh, start the next turn, until the start of the next turn, uh, have blind. the blind condition. Yeah, um, okay. Um, do I have a bow? All of you, I imagine, that? would see this as CLNE's reaction uh, to this. Oh, that's weird. I clicked on my character and it says open character. No, I wanted to maybe do something else. Okay. That's weird. So, oh, I can add it on my character sheet, can't I? Idiot woman. Yeah, ground I'm conditions. Blinded, blinded there. Right, okay. So we'll set that blinded. Okay. Um. Is so... No, I'm going to save my bonus action and I've still got my reaction, haven't I? So... I'm just going to cling on to the ballista so that I know where I am. <laughs> okay, okay. Makes yeah, sense. that's me. And we come to Volu. Yeah, so Volu sees the um, sandstorm, sees that everyone else is behind and the, the, the gap has narrowed. Uh, and he'll just shout, we need to find a way to get that engine. Uh, and as he shouts that, he's going to pull out a tiny fan. Um uh, a feather that uh, he'd uh, acquired um, a long time ago um, and flick the feather in the air, let off the fan, and then cast wind wall. Ooh. Interesting. Where are, you, where are you wanting to put the wind yeah, wall? Yeah, where are you placing it? So the wind wall is 50 feet long, 15 feet high, and one foot thick. I'm planning to put it here. Oh! 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 Beautiful. Oh, that's good. It may not affect the engines, but uh, the the vehicles, but it will affect the riders. 
I mean, it, it will still, I would say, it, it, as well as it won't throw Won't the engines just try and go up? Well, it won't throw them up because it's not a solid thing, but it'll be like driving go. in in, in 30, a tornado. 40 mile an hour winds, right? Like, it, mm. it, you, it's still a drive check to not have your vehicle stunted to the left or right as a, as a especially with levitating, right? And we'll slow right? them down. It'd be uh, well, like difficult if, terrain getting through yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they'll have to do. Yeah, so like well, very, very, very check. good maneuver. And obviously, if uh, they fail, then they do take the damage. Um, yeah. So it, uh, even if they fail, e even if they succeed, they take half damage. I like that. I think you should give Paul inspiration for that if he hasn't got it already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take inspiration. Um, you will notice that the what were you holding? Was it Cap's Grace? Yeah, that breaks. I know that will yeah. that will end. Yeah, no, I, I didn't think of that. <laughs> no, uh, that's that, a good I was I, I was thinking like of a time to do it. That uh, five. No, I like it. Oh, it's yeah, a good yeah. time. Good time. Okay, after Volu, do well, Dawn. Oh, Ballista. We're definitely into disadvantage. So uh, yeah, uh, Liam, like uh, I already had inspiration, so I don't get inspiration for that. Unfortunately, I have it. But... <laughs> <laughs> but pass it to me. I'm good with inspiration. I like it. Be more inspirational then. <laughs> if I could pass it to, if I could pass it to you, I could. But sadly, I can't. You need to. Um... You need to think about how to use that then. No, ballista, ballista guy isn't going to be petty. He's not going to take a wild disadvantage shot to try and just hit somebody at the last second. Um, Wayfinder. Wayfinder tries to pull away. Um, draw me 150 forwards, please, Chris. Yes, please. Although, actually, sorry. How far forwards until he hits the wall? Um, 50. Okay, so one movement forwards. And as they hit the wall, um, they blow up. <laughs> Have, have this thing just destroy the last three, and then there's only us two in mm. the car in the race left. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to say is for failing the strength save with the vehicle, they are unable to uh, boost, boost. It removes their ability to boost forwards, and obviously that 10 foot is dis uh, difficult to rain. They will, the vehicle will still take half damage. So, but Volu, if you want to roll your 3d8. And then driver and bard. Um, uh, oh. Half, half, half damage, or they did well, they fail? Roll, roll three d eight, and then yeah. the people that yeah. fail take a full, and the ones that I'll half it for the others. Yeah, so seventeen. Okay, so you see, as that the vehicle will keep going as it passes through, so it's gonna go turn. 20, 30, 40 forwards. It can't boost with its bonus, but that's its move and action. However, the vehicle itself gets bruised and dented. The driver's like buff, buffered about, and you actually see the bard is just swept off the back of the vehicle. Nice. And completely cool. knocked unconscious as they, um, uh, uh, like, basically that was a brick wall for them. Mm. Uh, um I'm going to be nice and say they land outside of the wind wall so that they're, they're not like uh, constantly getting killed, killed. They are obviously bleeding out, but that's, you know, Thoric to deal with. As as Volu once said, death race, death race, death yeah, yeah, race. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Their vehicle. Um... Is there like an MVP award for most knockouts? Because I'm getting there. <laughs> Volu, I'm... I'm going to give you as well. You can roll uh, the D100. Uh, for this, 45 and under is good for you. 53. Oh. With, again, making that same sputtering, uh, clicking noise that the vehicle that just passed you is, uh, the Wayfinder's uh, vehicle is not looking good at all, sputtering bits of smoke. And uh, you can see that, again, the driver's basically doing everything he can to hold it, hold on right now. Um, as it would then be back to the top with Dante. Um. 
The Wayfinder's engine. Do I know any like any way of being able to just turn it off or whatever with my telekinesis? Is there a, some a pipe or wires or not, anything not that I just pull? Not really. Um, I didn't think that would be anything, but I thought I'd give it an ask. You could attempt to to again turn them if you could turn them to be moving on onto the stalagmites. Um, obviously, that'll scrape through the bottom. Um, and I, that's a contested, same as last time, to so your intelligence uh, versus their drive check. Okay, I'm going to do, I'll do that. I'll okay. do the bonus for that. Okay, so give me an intelligence for that. Um, you get, no, you, you won't get any, any bonuses on this. Okay, uh, 19. Okay, you turn and it like, the wheel slips from his hands. As you almost full like, you know, like one full 180, the, the wheel and their vehicle starts to lurch. They, it won't go till their turn. Um, but you, you're you like locked in fully round. Uh, and then I'm going to just fire on ahead. Okay, so. Norm, so that is. Another 90 forwards. Uh, yes, there. Amazing. As the as the chaos embers again take the lead, uh, honestly, uh, uh, no, Ow. Hon I know. no do, <laughs> do it doing the glass family proud. It's we seems. thought we were going to be um, at the back for the whole way. We, we we were so like, ah, oh, we just need to focus on staying like, like p progressing no at the end. No one's going to pay us any attention because we, we're going to be grappling hook. Them. This grappling hook has been used <laughs> twice. For like big plays here. To be fair, when you <laughs> when you locked onto the the sandstorm, yeah, that that was very clutch, and also it was lucky the order of things that you weren't nearer the people that were firing off big area things. Yeah, yeah, um, true. And that your initial was good. You know, you got mm. to set off pretty quickly. Um, oh dear. Okay, after, after yeah, which, all our initial was great. That's the Dante, yeah, uh, yeah. But no, the driver is the main bit. It's not like the other ones. Like Kim, Kimmy went first on a twenty-two, but they don't move forwards until yeah. a six. So it's yeah. like our order is pretty, pretty sick. Yeah, it worked out very nicely. So yeah, Ichi. I don't know, man. Kill him! <laughs> kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Yeah, I was break so it, uh, thrice, uh, thrice. The vehicle immediately behind you, the sandstorm, <laughs> is looking horrendously damaged right now. Uh, as it is the wayfinder. Both I mean, can we seem... can we knock the sandstorm off somehow off the track? Okay. Well, that's what I've tried to do. Yeah. Because if that if that other thing wasn't gonna like work, I was gonna ram it. Because they want the, they want the vehicle and the engine, don't they? We're probably not going to be able to kill the guy driving it, but if we can, well, they, they want the floppy disk, don't they? They don't want the engine. Yeah, that's why I was just going to round the ass. But... And that's that's the dark one. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, alternatively, just use you know bow and arrow. You've got two shots. I mean, we do also oh, have dear. two kegs of gunpowder at your feet. That that feels that feels <laughs> overkill in a way of like we might we might destroy the thing that they well, need. Well, not if you but... aimed at the side of it. And I mean, see, we like we, we can knock it. We have got rid of. Um, we've got you've got bar bars is down mm. and like um, yeah bar is off. Uh, and I am going to say in in this moment, Ichi, I'm going to press you for a. Uh... For a decision as the as the race you've, continues, you've got your jacket as well. Don't forget, you've got your jacket. I, I know I've got my cloak. I've okay. been thinking of things I can do, but at the moment, with the size of this, oh, dog like, at them. <laughs> I'm not throwing a goddamn <laughs> dog. Uh, Ichi <laughs> leans once again. Throw at them. <laughs> um, locks eyes with the driver of um, that sandstorm. Yeah, is the yes, one that's in yeah. front. Yeah, and I will cast command again, and oh. this time I will say bail. Oh, okay. I'm getting him like to jump off the that. vehicle. I like okay. that. Bail. Again, if you don't already have... Um... I do have inspiration and I'm going to spend it to give him disadvantage. Okay, yes. Like um, wow, the normal well, way of using it. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sat here like a creative <laughs> well, way of using this. Nope. 
basics. Make sure they fail. Okay, you feel your spell take hold as they start they, they start <laughs> to unbuckle. Actually, I don't think they would. They start to reach down under the seat. Oh, so, even better. Oh, they're going to eject. Oh, so, so the car's got to start smearing off that way, and he's got to fly off that way. Oh, oh brilliant. That, that's, that's us doing our job right. Yeah, cool. Uh, At this 18... point, stop the race. Take everybody out. The engine. <laughs> at this point just announce us as winners come on guys we uh yeah that cool that's my action bonus action nothing movement nothing past turn okay. oh wow fuck amazing i'm so surprised that both commands have worked no it's been <laughs> Damn. very very good okay so um trident they're going to try and zip in between these two and bust forwards to there. Can you, someone give me an arrow there? Thank you. You want a D100? Uh, yes, as they... Uh, wait, no, 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 because oh. they need to save first. But it, that's fine, it could be there. Sorry. Um, so, firstly, try and save for the bit. Paul, do your... Uh, three, three D eight again. Is it three D eight or three D six? Sorry, three D eight. Three D eight. Killed him. Killed him. Death race. Death race. Uh, fourteen. Okay, again, buttered, buffered, and battered. These guys haven't taken too much direct damage. Their risk has all been in fire so far, but they wobble. Vi- and Veer as they uh, I'm going to say actually that they don't get any further than the wall for now uh, because of the slowed uh, they're like they they, sp- they have to like really they just, pull they just get through it and then yeah um, after them it is Desert Hopper now Desert Hopper have seen two vehicles fly into that wind wall and eat dirt so they are going to use their jump function to try and hop um, the wall, so they'll go. Ah. So they're gonna go 10, 20, 30. They jump when they're third, when they're 30 foot back, so that they're because they only jump up similar to you 10, mm-hmm. 15. But as the floor is still dropping and you've placed the wind wall at the base, um, and they are gonna quick live check, okay. Um, Chris, yeah, <laughs> roll me a d100. Oh, what? Well, okay, well, that would have been roll that's low, zero. roll low. I've just rolled a zero, so now it needs, I guess, a 10. I mean, that'd be a hundred. Yeah, no, that would, one. no, no, double zero. Zero, zero. Yeah, if you get zero, 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 that's 100. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, got, I got 20. Okay, so you see. They, they, the hydraulics kick off and their vehicle does leap up into the air and is soaring forwards and they are just clearing the wind wall and their hydraulic lifts don't lift quick enough and you see that they're buffeted and if you imagine like this sticking out on the edge hits the wind wall, their whole vehicle topples head over oh. um, and they <laughs> land in a clump with a there's a momentary uh, pause before there is the bang of an explosion but if uh, from your remembering um from your time visiting the demonstrations about the new gray wind for engines they are like uh created to shatter inwards almost so there is, the back of the their vehicle does like <laughs> but it doesn't like burst into flames like a lot of the other uh but they're they're now out. They are completely. Oh out. my yes. god! <laughs> We're cleaning up. Can um, Aleni, Volu, and Ichi roll me a d twenty, please? Nineteen. Sixteen. Six. Onyx, we're not even halfway through this race. Look, don't jinx it. <laughs> it's, it's Three fair We've still got to navigate the invisible fucking track. Mm. Hey, hey, that, that's that's going to be fine. Just follow Ichi. Hmm. Um, okay, so they are out of the race. 
Um, a quick look back, you'll see the crossbow figure is sort of moving and out on the side. No sign of the driver right now, as that vehicle is just upturned. Um, as we come to the sandstorm, so... So bail. They do bail. They reach down below, seem to pull something out of sight. The top shielded glass seems to disconnect and fly away as their whole seat just out. They're, they float in the air for me, and as they bail, they're immediately like, "Shit, no!" As it as they just <laughs> out as they because the second they do the thing, obviously they're released, um, and yeah. then it gets like it gets maybe thirty foot in the air before Featherfall activates and the seat just. Oh, you'd be starts. so gutted, wouldn't you? Oh, <laughs> like he like full on like a kid with a pout, like arms crossed as the seat slowly comes to yeah. the ground, like, <laughs> and just um, beside the car. So I uh, can, can, can uh, uh, Chris roll me a d6 to see basically one, two is up, uh, three, four is forwards, basically which way the vehicle veers as it loses its driver. Um, five okay, so downwards as you see the vehicle, yes. so he goes up and back, and the vehicle turns so it sort of does okay so do you see they barrel straight into this wall uh can i'm gonna also say uh dante as this as this uh, uh no sorry ichi as this was your doing on this side uh-huh because uh, this is the the sandstorm can you roll me a d100 and below 10 is bad for you Oh. oh no! Come on. More than a ten. Oh, ninety-nine. Okay, so you see that the vehicle crashes with a heavy slam, but there isn't an explosion or any other signs that the, the engine itself took critical damage. Um, however, yeah, it good. does almost some of the Zikar's gone, and it's like scraping along the ground a little bit um, as it sort of took all the damage of the underneath on that side. Um, as we come to the your Flyer, so they hmm, now they go together, okay. Yes, so we are going to Tabitha reaches up and casts forwards. Uh, you would recognize Dispel as they're pointing oh. towards the wind, wind wall. Uh, what level is wind wall volume? Uh, it's level three. Gonna, okay, okay, so I thought it was higher, so no need to roll. Um, they, You see your wind wall almost as if it was like shot in the centre with like a dispersing bit of air as the whole wall just and disperses, um, leaving the Azure Flyer free to uh, move 150 forwards, closing the distance behind you. Oh, we need to take oh, out Tabitha. She's a big threat now. Yeah, she is. She's dangerous. Be fair, I, just, I mean, I just, I think the driver. It, he's um, harder to get to, though. That's the thing. After them, uh, Eleni. Okay, so we've got Tabitha still covered in stony skin. Yeah, you would have seen before you left uh, Dante. Well, you wouldn't have seen, actually. So I don't know if you know that Dante has currently locked the wheel of the Wayfinder because it's telekinesis. I don't know how you would see it. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't think I've, I would have seen but that. But yeah, so you, you've got a zero flyer closing in on you. The wind wall has just, just been dispersed. The, the only people in the race left now are you, the zero flyer, the Wayfinder, and the Trident. Okay, so let me just check something. Um, Give me a perception as you look back also, Ellen. A perception? Yeah. Let me see if it let me roll from here. 24. Oh. You look over, and as you're sort of scanning, and Barter is like on all fours, sort of like very steadily getting up. Hmm. And there's two figures moving through the stalagmites approaching on his dis on on his position not not come to anything yet but you can see that you beat their stealths as they're moving in I'm, on I'm him i'm feeling bad for him I'm, I'm gonna be honest i'm although she needs him so she's probably not gonna kill him or anything is she 
No, just, you know, a bit of torture. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, Did we I... have to pass both objectives with her or just one? No, just, just one. No. And we, and we just, so, so we've cleared our debt and maybe we've won it for two we also now have uh, probably quite a good relationship with the mob here, you know. We really do. Can I just, uh, can I just check, Liam? Um, yes. Restrained. Restrained yes. stops movement. Yes, but it, so if it's on the creature, so for example, we've done, we were talking about this with like uh, ensnaring strike. It would cause disadvantage if it hits the driver, but it can't stop the vehicle unless no, it's I'm, something like web that is I'm big enough. I'm web. So it's just to cover, foot to cover, cube. to cover. If it can cover the whole vehicle, then it then it would affect the vehicle. Although I am going to give the vehicle advantage on the strength save because it's moving at speed. I was wondering as well about Tabitha, though, right? If she's restrained. Oh, she'd be still be able to cast spells. So restrained is just disadvantage on attacks. But you would, you guys would all have advantage to hit anybody that is restrained as well. Okay. So if you, I'm, I'm going to do that. Driver and then. anyone else. I'm going to try and cast web on them, and it's a. I'm going to try and cover because it's a twenty foot cube. I'm going to aim it at the whole car, so it's a dex save. Okay, so drivers first for the vehicle natural two for a total of like six um so you see the vehicle itself <laughs> fails the driver fails tabitha right. succeeds okay so they're still in the area it's still d d uh, difficult terrain but i'm gonna and again i'm gonna say that they almost cover themselves for a second in like a magical shield that just prevents the web from grabbing on yeah. um and that was even at a disadvantage for being strapped into a seat um yeah. So like like that <laughs> kind of thing. I've just drawn a rough yes. and and it is. Um mm. oh sorry. So I was gonna give the vehicle advantage. So just one more. Nope. And eight for a total of twelve, which I don't think beats twelve doesn't yeah, beat that's, your that's DC, better. does it? No, it's a fifty. Okay, so you, you see this this web spread out almost I'm gonna say it's almost like moth silk rather than a classic yeah. spider web as it sprays out and glistens as it covers and as it sticks it, it there's almost like that cartoon <laughs> moment as the vehicle's like full revving forwards at full stretch uh but they are all restrained except for tabitha who is just um within it brilliant so that was my action um and again bonuses not so much so that's me i think okay after which roll Death, 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 death. See, I was thinking death, but now I'm thinking just <laughs> torture. No, no. He's getting worse. <laughs> um. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ow, my knee. So, so with this web, the car being restrained, is, is it a skill check to get it out? Or, it's, or, a it's a it's a uh, strength check, I believe, to get out of it. Otherwise, it's just the car is just stuck there. Yeah, it, it is a strength check. I'm just going to double check that, but I think it's a strength check. Because uh, before you did that, I was thinking of blinding the driver. Well, do that anyway. I mean, but yeah, it's a strength check against my spell DC. So I, my options are either try and take out the little trident boy or blind the driver. I mean, you could still blind any of the drivers. You, they're still all in business. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, it's oh, only blind. Does blind not reach them? It's only 30 foot. Could you blind Tabitha? So I, 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 I could blind Tabitha. Because she's the one firing off spells left, right, and centre. Oh, what a great way to like kind of neutralise her. Because the driver in yeah. the car. I mean, very right right she now. does have dispel, so she put like if she has another third level spell, can just wipe that next turn. But that then uses her spell to, to do that. Yeah. yeah, and it's a turn she's not dispelling the web. Mm. Yeah, they're giving her two things to try and get rid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, um, kind of let out a screech and point at tab. Good old tab tab. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh, yes. As as you screech out, they 
hold up a hand and click, but it rings out like a and it echoes out as the two sound waves meet each other and they are going to counter spell you rather than no oh, to be fair, that's another third level, third level spell third level spell it's a third level spell <laughs> too late <laughs> um so anything else from volu i'm still learning <laughs> no no and that, that hey, hey a, you're, do, you're doing great spell, no you're doing really really well caster, any spellcaster has the capability to be having counter spell on them um it, that is not really a a bad player thing it's, nah, uh, nah. there's no. nothing you can really do it's i just i just didn't game. know it existed so oh. yeah you, uh, i think i don't think clerics get it you get this no. spell but you don't get mm. counter spell no. so counter spell is like sorcerers and wizards and those sorts of things and it's their reaction as long as they see the person casting but right it they, still uses they spell can, slot and it's still, and, and yeah, yeah and it's still a third and level it's spell to reaction up so that's yeah so my good it's used. To, it's used one of my spell slots though as well. Which... It did, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, anything with the uh... bonus? There's not much other than sanctuary, but I don't want to use all my spells. Um, Save no, it if so. you think. I, I, yeah. I, I'm gonna hold an action. Uh, not not hold an action. Um, prep my uh, bow. Sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. After which. The Wayfinders, unable uh, to unlock his wheel from Dante's telekinetic grip, their vehicle takes a similar uh, forward. Now, they're not going to um, boost because, you know, at the point that they get to... At the point that they get to around here, they know they're in trouble. (laughs) Um, However... God, a two on the drive check. As you see that they try to turn away, but as they do, it dips and a stalactite, uh, stalagmite breaks off that, the, you know, the right hand bit of their, the T of their car, uh, of their Aether Stream vehicle. As it spins completely, can uh, Dante, as this one was your one, can you give me a D100? As it cuts, keeps going and collides with this far wall. Uh, 58. Okay, you see as it into the wall, there is a small fire lighting and a bit of the wall itself breaks off and you see a almost like a small shaft of light as if there's, uh, you know, something on further, further on, uh, but a large boulder crunches off the wall and basically just oh. pins their vehicle in. Um, you can see that it, lo- it looks like the drivers are, are, are trying, to, drivers trying to climb out, but their vehicle is out for the count. Two oh, more, Lord. Three more. The chaotic, chaotic Ember is doing a good job at eliminating the competition. Uh, unfortunately for Illa, the you could definitely tell the crowd are going to not be happy that they didn't get to see all of this. This, yeah. this at the minute, you would imagine, is just being like described um, <laughs> when, when they can get information on it. I imagine they'd use scrying. Yeah. I would assume this whole thing must have been scry because I mean, be like there, there are like familiars scry. that are foaming around. The so probably that person with thaumaturgy well, yeah. being like, and this is happening, and that is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the also chaotic familiars, embers familiars for some are, reason are winning. Yeah, fam- familiars are following the lead, the lead vehicles as as they're trying to keep up. Um, so, so who's the who's the lead vehicles? The chaotic embers. Oh. The- yeah, it is. <laughs> so okay, is it just so- us, the Azure Flyer, and that Trident left? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Come wow. to the next bit. We can just casually just weave our way up. We don't need to reach <laughs> anything. <anymore. laughs> So, um, as, time, we, as, as we come back to the top of the round um, with uh, Dante and Ichi. Dante, you're not going to get to Ichi and Volu. Give me perceptions, but Dante, your turn. What? What we? Uh, you just blitz, blitzing forward, doing anything else? You can see that the web has got the uh, as your flyer thoroughly stuck. The guy that's at the back is trying to catch up, and you can see that they do have like a few things prepped. There's like a few pack, like almost like. Uh, you know, like a C four package, it's like a white bundle that seems to be like in his in his lap, ready to go. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do what I've done for like, thing with my bonus. I'm going to try to use the remote, not remote, the telekinesis to yank 
the wheel of the guy. Okay, so I'm going to say for the guy at the very back, you can't see his steering wheel at this distance because he's... It's oh, is, it, is, is that where he is? So it's... Trident no, no. So Oh, sorry. Him. You mean for the as your flyer? I thought, yeah, you meant, I thought, sorry, I thought you meant for the Trident guy. Yeah, no, no. That's too far. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me an intelligence. Um, 16. Okay, you try and pull, but you feel the, the the resistance of the driver holding it straight. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's actually quite cool being able to do that. With this. I'm not going to lie, it's a really fun thing to do. Um, and I'm just going to draw, draw, draw 90 forwards. 94? 90, forwards. 90 <laughs> forwards. As you begin the climb of the other side uh, got, of, of the crevasse. And so I got a 21. Okay, seven. so... Volu, you don't pick up. Uh, you you're, you're focused on the race and seeing what's happening. Uh, Eleni and uh, Ichi, you would see uh, the two figures burst out from the uh, st stalagmites and grab hold of Bartha very quickly, hooding him, hands round and just pulling him back off into the into the stalag stalagmites. That guy was just like. I just was ejected, and now I'm being kidnapped. It's a oh, bad he doesn't night. know what right, the fuck is going on. This is Barter, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. As you see, he was, he was... pulled into the and and uh, look. So, a hey, Lenny and each your stealths are high enough to beat them, but they are st they they pull him and are moving purposefully to be hidden from the path. If right. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, because they don't want any clerics that are coming through to to see him, basically. Um. As Dante's moved, Ichi. Um, as we're going on to the incline, is it same same kind of incline of about like for a, like maybe slightly reversed? Like for every fifteen feet we move forwards, it goes ten feet up. Uh, it's, oh, it's, yeah, God. no, no, ten feet, ten feet forwards, fifteen. It's a very similar incline. It's almost like this That's is the same bold. as the way down. It's the yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. intense. It's steep. Yeah. As we are moving past it, like that beginning bit of incline, uh, Ichi is going to be using their action to throw down the hole. Okay. Because theoretically, right. a, the Aether Crystal obviously needs to fill the lip to go up. So if that's there, then they're going to more... Yeah. So like it, a, that's going to make a harder... Good idea. That is good. That's really like good that. idea. Sorry, Chris, do you want to demonstrate that again? I realised what I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I did this? <laughs> um, so there is a 10 by 10 by 10 hole just at the lip of the... Uh, so that should line. be... Double size then, ten by ten. Oh wait, no, no ten. No. So you said ten by ten by ten, and that's yeah. Because like, there were three yeah, tens. It's, it's, ten, oh. it's ten down, ten yeah. down as well. Cool. Can we uh, move uh, it? Uh, it's more likely that a car's going to drive into it. Yeah, because it's also at a slight angle as well, so it's more like a box. As, like as that. long as that's literally where we start going up, Liam. That's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the beginning of the. I just don't want to yeah. put it on you guys. Yeah, yeah it, it, makes sense. it yeah. is exactly where the lip rises. It's kind of like yeah, Ichi's like leaning down, putting the base of it yeah. on the floor, and then as we're moving, it's letting go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is weird. You pull this patch off Ichi, and even as you're pulling it off, it's like growing into a large cloth, and you like flick it out, and as it touches the floor, it just sticks and starts to materialize as you, and as you let go. There is it just there is a hole there. Brilliant. Holy moly. Anything else from <laughs> from each of you? That's it. That's it. Interference. <laughs> Interference done. That's what I wanted to do. It's like okay. it's like Wiley e. Coyote, isn't it? With yeah. Literally. <laughs> just don't look down. You'll keep <laughs> going if you don't look that that's basically the logic of the invisible yeah. path. Don't look down or the invisible path goes away. Yeah. I mean, you can see that then. Yeah, go do do it for uh, from the hundred from here. Sorry. 
I'm, I'm I'm very impressed with the amount of interference I've been able to do so far. No, it's good. Honestly, you guys have done really well, actually. Uh, the, the Trident pulls up next to the currently stuck as your flyer uh, before pointing their gun forwards, and they're going to try and shoot at Eleni. Oh, no. Rude. It's not very nice. What have we done to them? <laughs> <laughs> now, <God>. yeah. <laughs> My rolls tonight suck. Uh, what's the 26 Good. on the crit fail? Well, <laughs> so my world. Did you roll on that one? Yeah, and a 26. Uh, so now they are blind. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Only to the start of their next turn, though, To the right? start of the next turn. Okay. A me. little bit of dust just... <laughs> no, it's, it's actually the sparks of the, the, the gun when they fire off. Ow. The sparks and dust like sh back straight in the faces there. Shit. Uh, um, and they, I'm going to say they forgo taking a blind fire for, for a second shot. Um, and that is them blind. They could probably. shoot next to them. They know that the other cars there. They could. If they also know though their bullets are fire and if they set the web on fire it will let them free. True. That's true. They they are happy with that driver being stuck. Um, <laughs> however, after them, we are down to because they're now out. Ser serves them right, really, for trying to fire at us. That's yeah. Um. So okay, you so flyer. as your flyer struggles and struggles, you see them revving and revving, but not able to break out of the web. Um, literally with a 10 to, on oh. the roll to break out of it. Yeah, they need um, a 15. The thing is, is it's real risky. They can't set themselves on fire. Like, <laughs> they can't burn They can't burn away the web because if they do, they coat in fire in their engine. So, um, okay, she knows it's not going to um, blow up your car. Well, let's see how you do with a little bit of fireball. Oh, oh out. And they are out of third, so we'll have to use a fourth. Oh, oh, <laughs> that wasn't me upcasting. There, Paul made him. Paul made, them, Paul made them count a spell. <laughs> Paul didn't do anything. She couldn't. Do anything. <laughs> we're um, we're so, still on the plus three plus D four for saves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I need. Um. Chris, you need to do two. One for the vehicle, one for yourself. Yours is at disadvantage because you strapped him. Yep. Um, and for the rest of you, a deck, a deck saves. As you see, the little orange orb, almost they send it in front of your vehicle so that it over over you as you uh, drive. Question. So am I, I still use my stats for the car, don't I? Like um, no, because I have. I was no. I don't think I was given. Yes, no. You use. Yeah, yeah your deck save for the car. Okay, so the car got twenty six. Oh no, twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Shit. And I got. Uh, rolled so ten, eighteen, eleven, twenty one. Even sorry. Are we still getting the plus three from you? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you are. And a, and a D4. That's always a thing. And a D4. I can't as long as I am, by any as long as I am conscious. conscious, you get a plus three as long as you're within 10 feet of me. And while we're in this race, you are until I get on my elk. An advantage? <laughs> no, sorry, Eleni. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, so what? Turns out we did not do well with Fireball. <laughs> no. So, um, remember, you guys have got inspiration. Some no, I don't have. anymore. Some people have oh. inspiration. Yeah, I need to figure out how to use this at some point. Um, uh, uh, Essentially, so there's the two. There's two things. You can either break the rules, so you can either break the rules in some way. You can counter spell, or <laughs> you can uh, change the world in a way that makes sense. So, for example, having rain clouds appear or. Uh, you know, like uh, so a like, bit of stalag stalag so like type Ichi, you. Ichi gave the person disadvantage earlier to hit them. Yeah. You could give yourself advantage on the save. You yeah. could, do you know what I mean, you can you can try and tweak yeah. things. But so I got eleven. So and I'm on a fourteen. And I got an eight. Oh, oh God, geez. guys, come on! I oh. I, need, I need you guys. <laughs> So and so twenty hey, twenty hey, twenty nine. The cat's grace going. Twenty nine for the vehicle. What did you get with disadvantage? Twenty one. 
21. Okay, With so. damn, buddy. Well, yeah. my, my dex is plus eight, plus your three. I've got 11. Yeah, so. he's, he's actually, he's actually <laughs> very, very stacked. Dex. I just rolled really shit. Okay, not the worst. Really? 20 po- oh! 24 points of fire damage. I am quite injured, guys. As, I am like, the, as the oh, vehicle coats in fire. Um, that is halved to the vehicle, so 12 points to the vehicle. Mm-hmm. And um, we all need to do concentration checks. On anyone, web anyone less. holding anyone yeah. holding a spell needs to do a DC twelve concentration check. You still get the bless. Yeah, you still get bless <laughs> and the plus three. So that's uh, it makes that a plus four. Uh, so yeah, but now because it was well. so what it was twenty two. So the the DC yeah. is no twenty four. Twenty four. Why DC's couldn't 12. I have got that on the deck save? I got a twenty seven on the con save. So the web still holds. That's still good. Still and good. bless is still going. Yeah, I've, got, I, I've got no concentration up at the moment. Okay, no worries. Uh, what, what about the wind wall? No, it's down. Wind wall it, it, dis- oh, it dispelled. Nice. Uh, cool, yeah, that's a 19 for me. So Shit. bless okay, is still okay. going. Okay, okay. I am not um, good, guys. I am really bad. As, as we come to Eleni. Eleni is smoking. <laughs> like... Yeah, they are. <laughs> Um, Eleni has no healing spells because she's not that kind of spellcaster. Okay, let me think about this. Um, Tabitha's really fucking me off, but can I bonus action chuck a health potion down my throat? Yeah, yeah, very all? easily. Two D four plus two. I'm sure I've got one. I'm gonna say, <laughs> and I think it is a normal one. Uh, where's it gone? I'm sure I've got one. Potion of healing. I've got two. So, yeah. So, 2d4 plus two. It's not a huge amount, but something. So, that's eight. That'll do. That's nice. That's nice. So, heal that much. Follow you up next. And then with my action. Oh. Let me have a look. So this guy is now blind mm-hmm. until his next go. I'm going to go for Tabitha. I'm just going to chuck two two normal arrows at her. Because Dante's would Dante's fire set the web on fire? Yes. yes. So, but I can't switch that off, can I? Anyway. No. Nope. But she's not covered in web. No, because she's like 10 foot above the vehicle, isn't she? I, I, well, no, she's at a normal level now. But I will say if you hit her, but I will say there is a percent chance if you miss. Because it's a if large I, area of If web. I aim for the trident guy instead, mm-hmm. is he like on advantage. a bike have, almost? Is he, is he, it's, it's more like a bike, and you have advantage yeah. to hit him because he's blind. Right, let's do my first arrow at him. So that's a 19. Definitely hits. Um, So that's... 11 normal damage and then it's a d6 Six. Six. oh and then another d4 Ooh. decent amount of damage oh hang on didn't like that ah oh, that would help if i typed it in properly wouldn't it so that's seven fire so 11 11 piercing seven fire on the trident oh, guy. Okay, okay. Any um, other effects or? Uh, uh, what's how? How is he looking? Rough. Uh, the vehicle looks better than he does. To be fair. Okay. In which case, I am going to send my swarm, and but I'm going to get my swarm to do some extra damage. So they do an okay. extra d6, I think, piercing okay. damage. Go and get the moths. Oh, and it's a six. Oh. So my moths are oh. going to go and basically swarm on him. As the moths flutter over him and, and almost just battering and bruising him, uh, he falls unconscious. Um, can Eleni, as you have just done this, roll me a d6. Again, one, two is straight up. Three, four is straight on. Five, six is down. <laughs> straight into the car. Four. Straight, straight on. So while oh. he slumps and slips from the vehicle... Um, their vehicle on their turn will continue we'll a forward a forward tra- trajectory. Okay. Um, so second arrow. 
or second attack. What else have I got? Too far away for that. And anything I fire from here is going to have fire on it, isn't it? Yep. Unfortunately. Screw it. I'm. Oh Jesus. No, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not doing anything else. I mean, you know, it's setting on the setting on the web. It will free them, but it would set the whole car on fire. Which could um, blow the car the up. Metal. Oh, see, yeah, I wasn't thinking yeah. that. It'd free them though. Hmm. I mean. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's fire on them. Let's do it. Okay, so first of all, uh, uh, before the roll, uh, to be fair, it doesn't matter. I was going to say, we're, you, she's still got Sanctuary up. Um, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She's well, attacked. Oh, she attacked. Sorry, mm. yes, she did. So, no. The 11, however, you see the arrow it sails off to the side. I'm going to say it's enough of a miss that not near uh, setting the web alight. Good. Um, as we then go to Volu. How badly are you hurt, Lenny? Um, I'm not as bad now. I'm uh, just under half health now that I've uh, chucked a potion down my throat. I, I'm heal yourself if you need to heal. Uh, okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm pretty close to being unconscious. Um, yeah, heal yourself. Which one do I? You also have a bonus action health potion if you've got one. Ooh, do I have? I feel like we all stopped up on them. Didn't Everyone we? had one. Yeah. There's also four on the cloak. I might uh, you need to give you a... They're all on one patch. So yeah. you have I to materialise I... the bundle of four, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I must have already used it because I can't see it in my inventory. Um... That's okay. Here, 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 uh, you can pop yourself a heal if you need to. I'm just deciding what level because Dante, you are up next. Coming yeah. to you. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. You can use. Can you use cure wounds on yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because that <laughs> that left me like with three point hit points. Oh um, shit! Okay. Have you got um potion as well? No, I've not no, got a potion. Could he take one from my belt? He's right next to me. Not as a bonus. Damn. Uh, but don't worry. Um, roll the healing. Uh, okay, 12 points back. Okay, nice. You get your 12 points back. Anything with the bonus? Uh, uh, bonus. What bonus is going to do? No, no, I can't do too much there. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of look to Lenny and kind of show that I'm, I'm flagging a bit and kind of quaff the flames out. Okay. Okay. Um, as you come round to Dante, just go straight forward. There's nothing else that I can do. Anything with the bonus, or are we just blasting forwards now? Blasting forward. That's all I can do. Okay, draw me ninety ninety forwards. Uh, skadoosh. You begin pulling up. You can see that blue line. That blue line on the map for you guys is the first left turn as it begins the zigzag. So that's actually where the road turns. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, uh, so that's where the the zigzag will begin. Um, <clears throat> and you begin to pull away. Uh, the the uh, Ichi. Anything from yourself? Um, for my action, I will. Ah, I don't feel like we necessarily. How how is everyone still looking? I think. I mean, um, I'm, I, I'm about half. Bolu's injured. I'm about. I, I, that got me to a little bit less than half. Yeah, snap. So cool. So. I'm I'm under half as well. I'm all right. <laughs> well, la di da. Good though, good because you're good the driver. Thing. It's all right, Chris. We're just taking everyone out for you. You're just. 
winning the race. Got in along. <laughs> it's it's and so I, nice for Chris. Yeah, and, 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 yeah and, and, uh, who's got you in that position? Have you noticed not that now we've ballista? killed everyone else, we're just going to turn on each other? There's like, you know. <laughs> Uh, there can be only like, one. You won't, you won't like what happens. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're all un- unconscious, and he drives to the finish line. Yeah. Okay. And then so. the Afriti gets out of the car. Yeah. Eat you. Okay. Eat you while we're doing them. I will use my action to put 15 points of healing into myself of lay on hands. Okay. okay. Yeah, use half my pull. I'll just pop that in. And that that's my turn. I will focus on staying near the others just so I can intercept if need be. But yeah, that's my turn. Okay, We're okay. pretty set right now. This guy on the up and coming, there's not much we can do to interfere. Okay, so again frustratingly uh you can see the web is stretching and pulling but with only again a five on the dice uh not able to to break out uh can a lenny give me a d100 okay 65 Okay, so their engine, there is smoke pouring out, but there's no uh, explosion. However, there is a a flame that pops out of their own engine that lights the web alight. Um, You would see at this point, Tabitha, Tabitha starts to get out, more like in preservation of themselves. They are very injured. Um... And while they are stone skin, that is only slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing that they get in resistance to. So they they do as their ter- action, unbuckle themselves and jump out the back of the vehicle and try and put some distance in between them. You see that it stops revving and almost out of initiative now, as you guys are able to just continue forwards. Um how are, are we you... just like do 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 do? How are you planning like to, to make... Now. Are you going to, like, z- jump and zoom up well, still as you were previously? Or are you going to uh, well, if just... nobody's chasing us, we can do this safely, right? Yeah, that's literally it. We, we can do a full check, I mean... I, I reckon we carry on, but I don't think we do anything crazy. And, right. and we still need to follow the elk at the top to get across mm-hmm. that, that bridge, right? Okay, I feel so... slightly bad for Liam, so, like, if he's planned out all these things <laughs> and we've just done it in the first half... <laughs> I'm okay, so proud of us guys. Seriously, should, I thought you, we were screwed. You should never, never, never ever feel bad for me. Um because <laughs> there will be days when Liam's like, <laughs> Yeah. Liam's like, there's two seconds of this race left. <laughs> there's there's still a lot to go. So you clear the next section of the race, winding up and down, up and down, up and down, and you you're moving. And as you're going, you uh, give me perceptions as you're looking down on um on the scene below. 18. 17. Dirty 20. Okay, so Volu, Eleni, and um, Ichi. Uh, Dante clearly just fix it, focused on the drive right now. Um, so for t- some things you notice that are potentially interesting. Two people jump out from the stalagmites over here, but dressed in official... Well, Cleric over here, Where? sorry. sorry. Where? Oh, over here. Uh, I'm about, uh, oh, yeah. I'm about, yeah. Uh, yeah. Over, by over Sandstorm. By, so, by the Desert oh. Hopper and Sandstorm. That one. Right, yeah. Um, They're actually dressed in cleric attire. And they start running out saying, like, do not move. If you're injured, stay where you are. But they run over to this driver. Right. And start Private doing something. And start doing something. They're like as if they're medicing in medicing in him. Okay. But they're they they're, they're almost like med medicing in him. Um <laughs> medicine king king. Yeah. As your <laughs> yeah. I think Tab- Liam's having a stroke. <laughs> Tabitha Tabitha sort of <laughs> moves over to one side and sits sits down. You can see that they're just like waiting. Um the driver uh, is restrained, so they have to like free themselves, but they Jesus, another five. Um, so they they just they even though they're not driving, they themselves are stuck in the cockpit with just all this web and, and other things. Um you as you guys are closing, 
you're doing the last turn and you can see at the very end the elk is waiting for you the jump and the portal out and volu as you sort of look down there's that flash as the wave comes over you and you see this entire cavern infected boils busting at the seams all the dripping with red and purple and other flashes and you blink and wipe away your eyes and most of it disappears but the crack right by where the wayfinder is is glowing and there's a soft glow emanating out of it and as you guys are finishing you're literally right at the top of the zigzags doing the last 50 foot um and you're making that turn where you slow down and all of a sudden gunfire from below screaming and uh, you see a fireball go off from Tabitha, a large explosion go off on one side. At this distance, hard to see, but Volu, you can just see the glow and that fear welling up inside you. And as we get to this point, that is where we will end this week's episode. Did you say gunfire? Gunfire in the cavern. Anyone looking down below can see that the riders that were still conscious are fighting with something. Oh, gunfire! Shit. So the, the the there is now people shooting off guns, and the last thing you see as we end is Tabitha fire a fireball, and they direct it at the wayfinder's vehicle, which goes up with a second explosion. So almost as you're looking down, 600 foot-ish, that, well, you're 600 foot up, well, you're more like 300 foot up, and a good 100 foot, 150 foot out, there was just a plume of smoke. Damn, and you can Liam. hear the gunfire. Thank you very much for joining. Now we feel bad about winning. <laughs> as always, thank you very much for watching and playing. If you're enjoying the adventure so far and you'd like to see what happens next, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when the videos are coming out. And as always, roll well. Bye.